Have you ever wanted to just dye a white shirt black or a denim shirt purple? Of course, we all have. And I'm gonna show you the easiest way to just dye something in under an hour. I'm going to use eye dye for natural fibers. That means any type of natural fiber. It could be from a plant or an animal. To get started, I'm gonna open up my package and get my little gelatin pack of dye. This is powdered dye with all of the goodies involved wrapped in a little gelatin pack that's going to dissolve in hot water. So I have this on a hot plate, but you can use your stove, which is a great thing. And once you drop it in there, you're just going to stir it around until it's fully dissolved. You want to use a stainless steel pot for your dye projects and whatever it is that you use, don't use it for food again. This is going to be your dye pot. And that's okay because I guarantee after you do this one time, you're going to want to do it some more. If you have more fabric than will fit into a pot or don't have a pot that you want to dedicate for dyeing, you can actually do this process in your own washing machine. A full list of those instructions are inside the packet and at jacardproducts.com. Okay. My dye is all dissolved and my hot plate I'm going to turn on to medium. I want this on a simmer, but not a boil. It doesn't need to be rolling hot, but it does need to be hot. So I have put my blue jeans in some water and that's just to get them damp. Your fabrics will dye more evenly if they are damp to start with. They will just accept that dye bath a little bit better. So now I'm gonna lower this into the bath and I want enough liquid in here so that my fabric moves freely and it's not all bunched up and just kind of crowded in there. So everything is in there. I've got my pair of jeans and water up to about here. And the color I'm using for my jeans is chartreuse. So I'm going to get a nice pair of green jeans, something a little different. If it's from a plant, that's going to be your cotton, your linen, your rayons. I'm going to use one cup of non-iodized salt. If I'm going to use a fiber from an animal, like silk, I'm going to use a third cup of vinegar. And that's going to just change the pH level of my dye bath. My jeans are in there now, and I'm going to take my salt, since I'm using a plant-based fiber, and pour that into some warm water and give that a good stir until it's fully dissolved. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little claw and pull my fabric over to the side and pour my salt water into my dye bath. Give it a little extra stir just to make sure that everything is all mixed up. Stirring your dye bath ensures that your color is going to be even and solid all the way through. So visit your dye bath along the road. But now that everything's in there, I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and then we'll be ready to rinse. It's been about 30 minutes. I've turned my hot plate off, but the water's still really hot. So I'm going to use my claws to lift my fabric up, let it drain, and then move it over into the tub for rinsing. Now I've moved my jeans to this tub so they're easy to move around without dripping everywhere. I'm going to take them to my washer, wash them with some Synthrapol or other mild detergent, pop them in the dryer, and they'll be ready to wear. Okay, my jeans are done. Out of the dryer and ready to wear. These are chartreuse green, and I absolutely love the way they came out. So whether you're dyeing your jeans bright green for spring, or black just to match an outfit, I dye is a great way to just dye it. Most natural fabrics still have synthetic stitching that won't be dyed by I dye natural. But don't worry, you can use I dye poly to dye those. Check out our video on I dye poly for how to dye stitching and other synthetic fibers and materials. Mm -hmm.